dark skin here with me. This ain't a diss song, but um, yeah, uh huh, you know what it is. I'm a cheesehead, y'all niggas cheese whiz. Pittsburgh Steelers, that's nothing. That Super Bowl ring, that's nothing. Pull up in your town. The little bits you knew about Trevor Davis coming in, what have you thought about just kind of seeing him now through some of these you know, practices and sort of what your first impressions have been of his ability? You know, we faced him before when I was in Cleveland and stuff, and so I've known about him, and I know he's got a lot of respect for him. I'm excited about him, and I, he's continued to get better through the spring and excited about where he's, you know, where he's trending to and where he's projecting to. I mean, he's got a lot of big playability, and, you know, having experience back there, returning kickoffs and punts. But the other thing I think people forget about is he's also a very good cover player. He's a good gunner, and he's a good, good cover player on kickoffs. So to get a guy that can return both punts and kickoffs and cover kicks is invaluable. So I'm really excited about him. Sean, can you, I know the, uh, uh, everybody's auditioning, and that's going to go on, but can you give us an idea as you go toward training camp who you're looking at, a group of players that you're looking at for the return game? Um, like, like I said, it's it's a group of guys back there. I mean, Trevor, you know, as far as returners, I mean, Trevor and, um, you know, it's just a whole host of guys back there. I mean, that, you know, Jawill and, and, and a bunch of different guys were trying back there. Um, Jair, you know, Jair's been getting some reps back there and has looked good back there. So we're just trying a bunch of people back there because, again, you don't know how the season's going to play out as far as, you know, final roster and those kind of things and injuries. So we're trying to, like I said, just trying to train as many guys as we can to get guys back there and get experience. So even if they don't get a ton of reps in training camp or the early part of the season, they've been trained so they know exactly what's going on if they do get thrown in the fire during the game. What would Fickett have to do to unseat Jason Crosby? Um, you know, continue to kick well. He's done a good job and he's progressed, but so so is Mason. I mean, right now I don't have the percentages in front of me and stuff, but I think they've both continued to strike the ball better as they went through the spring. And, you know, again, it's going to be one of those where, you know, Mason, Mason's experienced. He's, you know, he's kicked in these tough conditions before here in Green Bay and Chicago, and he knows the league. And, you know, Sam's got a, he's got a good live leg. So we'll just continue to play that out and see how it goes. I think it'll, 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 it'll play itself out, and it'll be very apparent for everyone. What makes a good returner? I guess other than you got to catch the ball to start with, but what what what, what yeah, fielding the ball security is tops, but uh, hand the ball back to the officials when he's done. But um, you know, being able to set up blockers and have great vision, you know, being able to see things maybe even before they develop, but then trusting that the, the that the return is going to be there, and once he sees it, having the you know the intestinal fortitude to hit it. it's kind of like being a NASCAR driver. You know, sometimes you see the cloud of smoke in front of you, you go ahead and you accelerate through it and stuff, not knowing what's on the other side. And, and hopefully that's what great kick returners do, and then the punt returners being able to set things up and having, you know, the speed to take at the distance, but having that vision to stick their foot in the ground and, and get their shoulders downhill and, and get what's there. So, you know, I think the speed, the elusiveness, and the vision are, are great keys. What did uh, you see out of Jawill and his his time returning with the Giants, and, and did he play other? Elements. Yeah, he also he, he covered kicks. He was on the kickoff and was a gunner also. So I, we always look for that. I mean, if you're going to be a core special teams guy and be a returner, you know, it always helps if you can cover. So he did both of those and, and had a couple tackles as a gunner. You know, but again, he's he has the ability to, um, you know, he'll hit it north and south, has good vision, and, you know, he'll he'll run behind his pads and, and usually falls forward. So, you know, he, he did a good job for them in the, in the limited opportunities he had. So, I just love my team.